it's been time for several years. Uh, next year will be 30 years since we started running the 1992 constitution, which has served us brilliantly. But clearly, local government is not working the way we expect it to work. Um, it's supposed to be non-partisan. Uh, parties are not supposed to be involved, but it is in the breach. The parties are very clearly involved, but clandestinely. So it is not it is not furthering the purposes of the assembly, nor allowing the parties to express themselves the way they ought to. So this conversation is overdue, because if we carry on with this the way we are going, we will crash. We will crash. Uh, how soon we will crash, I can't tell, but we will crash. So, so this conversation is overdue because we should have had it 2019 with the referendum. It was aborted. So now, we should go back to it and we should deepen it. We should deepen it with more public education. We should let everybody involved understand what's at stake in terms of the governance structures. Uh, today, the part of the conversation was uh, preconditions. In terms of the things we need to put in place, before we can engage further. For example, why haven't we passed the Affirmative Action Bill? If we have, it may open up spaces that hitherto were not there. Uh, spousal rights bill and all those things. It will, it will shape some of the spaces better for what we intend to do. So, so there's some amount of preparatory work that ought to go into it. And the conversation here today has clearly demonstrated that. But this is the time, and hopefully I want to see a referendum before the end of His Excellency Nanado's term. But consensual debate, uh, first of all, there's a certain sense of, uh, uh, dare I say, exaggerated skepticism about political parties. Uh, we must begin to engage on the basis that political parties can't be change agents, and that now, at national level, we are dependent on political parties. The entire frame of the 1992 constitution is dependent on political parties. So we cannot want political parties at one level and abhor political parties at another level. The, the hybrid is in Congress. It doesn't sit well. So, so we must begin to interrogate the essence of political parties and then support them to grow. If, if that is the way to go, and I believe it's the way to go, we must empower political parties to go beyond elections and begin to have technical people who can impact policy and engage the people in between elections for, for them to see that it's the parties that are driving development rather than the parties merely being election machines. Once people feel that parties are election machines, then they don't see the developmental impact. So, so it frightens them that you are bringing in an election machine to local level. What then will be the reward for elections? Then it means you are introducing the possibility of corruption, the possibility of raping resources at local level and all that. Those things need not make us fear or they, they need not be assumed and, and, and that necessarily political parties are bad. No, political parties can't be that bad. It requires education. And, and the political parties themselves require reform and strengthening.